Hello po! Kamusta po kayong lahat? After many, many months, I am so excited once again to share a new podcast series with you. So for those po who have heard my podcast before, which was called Pascual Network Podcast, this is like the season 2 of our podcast. And we changed our title to Life in Love Podcast. So going back to the 10 beautiful episodes that we've shared in Pascual Network Podcast, I hope po na na-bless po kayo sa lahat ng mga episodes na yon. And as we continue with our ministry, I pray that this show will bless you once again. Ultimately po, the sole purpose of this online ministry is to give all the glory to our God alone. But before we dive into our topic, let me introduce myself po sa inyo. I am Ivy Pascual, a happy wife of Leo Jade and a mother to my two kids. We have a YouTube channel. Ang name po niya ay Pascual Network, which was started last 2020. That was during pandemic. I also have an Instagram page, which is titled Read with Ivy. Doon po I share insights and encouragements I've learned from reading my Bible. I am currently a full-time mom, which is my lifelong dream, and an international student here in Canada. But prior to that, I worked and lived in Dubai for 13 years. I am a pure-blooded Batanggenya, so sa mga Batanggenya po dyan, kaway kawai I love to listen to Christian music and sermons from teachers and preachers who share sound doctrines. I also decided to continue doing this podcast because it is my desire to share what I learned from reading God's Word also listening to godly messages and the lessons I gained from daily living. So yung po mga topics na share ko po ay based sa aking research and experience. Again, I am not a graduate of any Bible school, but I hope and I pray that this will help you grow more in love with our Lord Jesus. So, without further ado, let's go to our topic. Ano nga po ba ang gospel and love? Related ba sila? I think most of us have heard what gospel is. Oh, matagal ko nang narinig yan. Pero bakit ito po yung una kong topic? Gospel or the good news of Jesus Christ. So when we hear the gospel, it means it is a good news. So kung may good news po, syempre may bad news. Ay bad news? Bakit naman? Yes po, whether we like it or not, there is bad news. That happened in Genesis chapter 3 when Adam and Eve disobeyed God's commandment. Nangyari po ito nung sinaway nila ang Diyos by eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Kasi po, ano ba yung warning ni Lord sa kanila doon? If they ate from that tree, they will surely die. Pero dahil po na deceived si Eve ng serpent, siya po yung devil in disguise. Then in turn, binigyan din po niya ng fruit si Adam. So both of them introduced sin and death into the world. They were banished from the Garden of Eden. So yan po yung bad news. Death and sin. Hindi man sila namatay physically, but they died in spirit. And all humanity has been affected by it. Dahil po sa disobedience, lahat ng tao ay pinanganak na may sinful nature. And we are all prone to sinning. So whether we liked it or not, makasalanan po tayong lahat and we are dead in spirit. And our God, our Father, is a just God. He is perfect. He is holy. He is sovereign. Hindi po pwedeng makalapit sa Kanya kung puro tayo ay kasalanan. So paano na? At dahil may bad news, of course may good news. At ito po ang gospel, meaning the good news. Alam niyo po ba na 93 times siya binanggit sa Bible and exclusively sa New Testament. So yung word po na yung, yung angelion from which nakuha ang English words na evangelist, evangel or evangelical. So yung gospel po is the good news about Christ and the way of salvation o yung kaligtasan. So dahil po makasalanan tayo and we are doomed to eternal death, Yan ang bad news, pero may kaligtasan tayo kay Kristo. Yan ang good news. Yan ang gospel. So kahit po 93 times siya nabanggit sa New Testament, 
would you believe na na-highlight agad siya sa Old Testament? And it is also the same verse in Genesis, which is in chapter 3. Let me read it to you. In Genesis 3 verse 15, I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. So these are God's words to the serpent. This verse is known as the Proto-Evangelium, which means the first gospel. Ito po yung verse na nag-promise agad ang ating Panginoon that He would send a Savior to redeem humanity from the effects of sin. Grabe ba? May good news agad. So this promise is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. I-breakdown mo natin. Jesus, who was born of a woman, which is si Mary, through His death and resurrection, Jesus defeated Satan. Yung po yung serpent in the Garden of Eden. And crushed His head. So in the process, Jesus was struck or killed, which is represented by the striking of His heel. So Jesus' death and resurrection is the perfect sacrifice and the fulfillment of this promise. So, bakit from bad news, may good news agad? Because the good news of Jesus Christ is rooted in love. Imagine, mahal tayo ng Diyos. Kaya po nangako agad siya na may kaligtasan. So, the central theme of the gospel is love. God's love for us and our love for God and others. And the salvation or po yung kaligtasan sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Jesus ay free. Hindi siya pwedeng bilhin at hindi po siya pwedeng ma-earn. Hindi mo na kailangang i-work out ang kaligtasan para matanggap ka ng ating Diyos Ama. It is because of God's love, He poured His grace o yung kanyang mayamang biyaya sa pamamagitan ng pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus para pumalinis lahat tayo sa lahat ng ating kasalanan. At higit sa lahat dyan, ay maligtas tayo sa puot o galit ng Diyos kasi po, perfect siya at ayaw niya ng kasalanan. So, we are all saved by God from His wrath. So, it is because He loves us so much. So, ano po yung response natin sa gospel or sa good news? It is to love as well. Yan po ang ultimate commandment ng ating Diyos. Jesus said in Mark 12, 30-31, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second is to love your neighbor as yourself. So this is the foundation of our faith, is to love. Ngayon po, to reject the gospel is to embrace the bad news, meaning lack of faith in the Son of God who is the only provision for salvation. In John 3, 17-18 po, after that famous uh, John 3, 16 verse, For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. So whoever believes in Him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Kaya po ang gospel at love ay magkasama. Hindi po siya pwedeng paghiwalayin. So let's accept the good news that Christ died and rose again for you. Through faith in Him, we have undying salvation where we can have fellowship with our Creator forever and ever. If you've made it this far listening to our podcast, please accept my sincere gratitude. One episode is not enough to explain in depth 